Robert Deringer was just 41 years old when he died with stage 4 esophageal cancer. He left behind a wife and four children. Today his wife is here to tell you about a special celebration of his life and what things you should do now to protect yourself from this deadly cancer. Elise Deringer is with us now to talk about it and a celebration of his life that includes some golf, which a lot of people yes. like, but it's a way that you can help. But I think the important thing is finding out more about the specific kind of cancer because we have a friend, Michelle Rifkin, right. who I know you, mm -hmm. you know of too. She was supposed to be here today, so I want to say hi to her um, first of all because she's the one who first introduced us to some of the signs and the symptoms. Mm -hmm. And I want to talk about that in, in just a second. But first, um, your husband passed away in 2013. Yeah, December of 2013. And he was only 41 years old. Yep. He was diagnosed with stage 4 when he was 39. So he was 39 and he lived just 18 months mm -hmm. with esophageal cancer. Correct. What, what was he, did he have heartburn? He did for a lot of his life. For about 20 years he took like a daily Prilosec and you know was trying to obviously control those symptoms. Um, unfortunately he probably had something called Barrett's esophagus which would have been a precursor to this uh, condition. Um, and he wasn't an advocate for himself, didn't go to the primary care physician to get it looked at. Um, just That's he was how guys mm -hmm. are, yeah. right? I mean, he was just, you know, a businessman, and he was strong and didn't need it, and so he was having some pain one day. We went up to the ER, actually, because it was so uncontrolled, and we found out that he had stage 4 esophageal cancer. My gosh, right then. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, I mean, it took a couple at, of over weeks. Over the course yeah. of the, but that he was already to that point. Yes. So what are some of the things that people need to be looking out for, especially if they do have a history of something like heartburn? Well, obviously, if you have a history or if you're suffering from GERD, it's called, or heartburn, if you're feeling those things, if you're having difficulty swallowing, if you have a chronic cough or clearing your throat a lot, those are just things that you should really be aware of. Um, sometimes you go to your primary care doctor and they'll be like, okay, we should initiate some kind of medicine like a Prilosec or something, but really you being an advocate for yourself and saying, you know, I think I wanna look into this more because esophageal cancer is a very aggressive cancer and diagnosed in a later stage, it's very difficult to treat. And one of the ways that they diagnose or take a closer look at this problem is with a scope yeah. um, that they, that they, where they look more intensely act, actually in your yeah so they'll put a uh, scope like or... a scope down your throat into your esophagus area look at that um, a lot of times even if they see something or don't see something they'll take a biopsy and take a closer look at it um, Robert had a tumor in his esophagus unfortunately it didn't cause him to have difficulty swallowing so we didn't know that it was there and then by the time he was diagnosed it was you know too late unfortunately. Oh too late. Mm -hmm. So of course another piece to this today is the efforts being made to raise awareness mm -hmm. and uh, you're doing that in a very celebratory way yep. as we were talking about because as you mentioned Robert was a, a celebratory human being. He was. So talk a little bit about what what the golf tournament is all about. So this is our second year of doing his golf on and we did the first one last year. His friends and I decided you know we need to keep his legacy moving on and celebrate his life and um, his family friends and I put this together and last year we were able to raise $15,000 for e can, which is Esophageal Cancer Action Network, and this year we're hoping to do the same and even better, and we have great folks at ECAN working with us and family and friends behind us, and we're hoping that it's a good time again. That is wonderful, and that is actually happening on Saturday, August 15th, mm -hmm. so it's actually two weeks from now right. that this event is taking place, or, or this next weekend. Yeah, two Saturdays the, from now. The 15th um, at 11, and we'll tell you a little bit more about that in just a second, but I think it does bring up the interesting point about these very common symptoms. I mean, heartburn Mm -hmm. medication is all over yeah. the drugstore mm -hmm. and a lot of people have it from time to time but especially mm -hmm. if it's pervasive or it's something that you experience often and I know that there's some other things too like if you smoke or if you drink right. those are even more reasons mm -hmm. to take a closer look at Absolutely. it Absolutely, um, because it can be a precursor to cancer. Yep. So I mean and Robert you know he was young he was in the prime of his life with his young kids and um, you know owning a business and he liked to have fun and be with his friends and you know so he would go and have a couple of drinks and not thinking anything of it and mm -hmm. his heartburn and then you know one day we went in and it just and was life changed and there's very little probably that they can do when it's that advanced yeah so he went through chemotherapy he went through radiation um, because he was stage four he was not a uh, a candidate for surgery to have his esophagus removed um, and then at the end of his life he did um, have uh, cancer to the brain and then he did have surgery to remove that but once that happened everything kind of started spiraling downhill for him. Is it a fairly slow going growing cancer? So when he was diagnosed they thought that he probably had cancer for a few years but his was all over you know in his 
lymph nodes in his liver, um, and then the primary tumor of the esophagus. But it is fast grow. It can be fast growing. It can be very aggressive. So to catch it early is huge. It is key. And again, uh, making sure that everybody is aware of those symptoms, the risk factors, so on and so forth. That is the purpose of the money being raised. And again, you can be a part of the Robert Deringer Jr. Memorial Golf Outing Saturday, August 15th at 11 o'clock. You can go to golfforrobert.org to find out more and register. Yeah. Register. Yeah. There you Register. Go. Thank you for everyone. It's Great. been, I mean, we're just so grateful to our sponsors and everyone behind us. It's been amazing. It's wonderful. Thanks mm -hmm. for joining us yeah, and your thank positive you for attitude, me. too. We really appreciate it. Thank